Close. Christ. I have not found a single piece of debris down here, and I've been mining at Y15. So. Yep, no dice. I don't know if I'm just horrible at looking at things or if my luck is just atrocious. Perhaps a combination of both. Would not be surprised. But, uh, yep. I'm back at it again with Aunt Krispy Kreme with zero luck and zero debris. God, it smells like sulfur down here. My uncle would probably tell me that this is what I get for using the bed method for mining for netherite, but. As far as I know, he's never been down here before, so I'm just gonna continue on with my life. Well, that was about as profitable as shearing a pig for wool. <sighs> my, uh, my mama ta taught me that to go into literally every situation with low expectations and lower hope so that You'll never be let down. And um, that line of thinking made me utterly miserable, so I ended up ditching it for good. But I guess it does apply in some situations, like that one. Okay, I have crafted some rails. I've crafted some regular ones, and I've crafted some powered ones. Now, if we just go into the nether. I was sipping my hot chocolate at the same time as recording and I was not prepared for how hot it was. That was a mistake. I think, my t I think the end of my tongue is burnt. Yeah, that wasn't the best idea. You little guy, you're not- I didn't mean to- you're not supposed to be in here, I don't think, but have fun, I guess. I accidentally just kidnapped somebody's kid. I think I should probably be worried about that, but- Eh, they'll despawn in a minute, it's probably fine. Finally! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. And now, I can finally get back home and do the thing that I've been meaning to do for the past, like, week. Also, ever since I started that netherite mine, there's just been this baby piglin just in my netherite mine. There's just a little guy there and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it to be honest. Like, it, it's- I am not of legal age to be a parent and it's been established that I would not be a very good father to a child if I were to have one. So like, for now I'm just letting him vibe. Her? Oh my god, I forgot to ask. Um, do you know what a pronoun is? No? Okay. Yeah, I'll just let them vibe for now. I, I don't exactly have another option, so. Just don't go down there, kid. It's dangerous. Let's see here. If I can remember the recipe first try. Wow. Look at me go. I'm great at this. No achievement for that. Really? I 
by accident, I just put a hole in my floor. I just fixed the hole in my floor, so it's fine. Anyways. <laughs> With Virginia. Anyways. Now. No matter where I am in the overworld, this compass will always be pointing to this specific spot. And I will never have to worry about getting lost ever again because it's always going to be pointing towards my house. I'm so good at this. Finally. I'm never going to get lost ever again. This is great. I love Minecraft. Now, uh, unfortunately, these compasses only work in the dimension that you're using them in. If you try to use a compass in the end or the nether, then they will do this. And if you and if this lodestone was in the nether, then I would be able to use it regularly. If I were to use it in the overworld, it would be spinning way out of whack like it is here. So it only works for one dimension, but that's okay. I'm not I'm not too fussed about that. So I think that when God gave me the ability to type things with my hands, when he gave me a keyboard and a brain at the same time, he messed up. Because I am using this ability to name my, my tools the stupidest shit in existence. Wait. <laughs> See example three. Yeah, sure. You you escaped, and I don't even know how you escaped. And I don't know how you escaped either, or you. But you guys just get to live in the wilderness now, I guess. Congratulations, you won. As you might have glimpsed in the last clip, something else I did was make bigger pins for a lot of the sheep and also the cows and the birds since most of them were starting to get a little bit crowded especially the sheep pen so <clears throat> all of the animals now have a pretty decent amount of room to amble around in and they're pretty comfortable i also just did a full harvest of the field and most of this was in here already but it's still a pretty good amount of resources gained, I'd say. Um, oh yeah, Alfredo and Amelia are holding up very well. And I have kept the pink sheep here, you know, the one that spawned in naturally. I'll, and I'm letting him roam just around here instead of being kept in all instead of being kept in the pen with all the other sheep. So, things are going well around the farm. I also finally made an official path from my house to the nether portal, since I use it enough at this point that I have basically used the exact same way to and from there every time. I also lit it up so that it would be easier to see at night, and also just because it looks nice. Like, if you're going to make a path, at least bother to light it up. It's just basic... If you have... It's just basic decency and also brain cells. I also got some quality of life stuff done. Like removing that really annoying square of bamboo from outside of the front of my house and instead using it to make sort of like a natural wall around the place. This is what you see here is roughly four, four and a half stacks, and this this stuff grows like crazy, dude. It's barely been like five minutes. And I also paved the downstairs area and made it look a little bit nicer. There's still a dead end here, and the walls are the walls are a work in progress. Just it's just it just just ignore them. I'm I'm, I'm working on it, guys. Just it. Yeah. Now, hopefully.
hopefully I can remember what on earth I was doing here because it's been a minute. And maybe I can get some context clues as to... Jesus Christ, as to what on earth I was doing with this earlier. Because uh, I haven't been on in like a week. Um... Yep, there's that, there's that, there's all those, there's that. Um, rest above. I genuinely cannot remember what on earth I was doing the last time I was on here. I did just start leaving, like, notes for myself so that I can figure out what on earth my stream of consciousness was at the minute because I have genuinely no idea what I was, what I'm supposed to be doing. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go get a book, actually, just so that I can write down like a checklist. I don't think that you can craft a book and quill with glow squid ink, so I'm gonna have to go hunting for some myself. Hmm. Seriously though, I have the short term memory of like an entire goldfish, maybe two entire goldfish on a good day, but I think that's giving myself too much credit. <laughs> You would have thought that at some point or another, I would have been able to just, whoa there, actually remember what I was doing like a regular person, but, um, no, apparently not. Apparently my brain just likes to just dump me into random situations with no context as to why I'm standing here or what on earth I'm doing, and then just to go, ah, yes. Uh, you have to do tasks now, and I am just sitting here like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing. To be fair, I have not gotten onto the world, this world in a week, so that's probably to be expected, but like, come on. Just... Come on! Okay. Checklist. Um... <laughs> I'm racking my brain here, give me a minute. Okay. So, checklist. Build guardrails for the nether path to the warped forest biome because that has been an issue for way too long and I'm pretty sure that o that OSHA will get my ass if I leave it like that for too much longer. Mm -mm. Decorate path to and from the home portal, install a laundry room, look for saddles, and maybe go into busting eventually. I don't know. As things go, I have... A history of just my memory being horrible and blanking out at random times for no apparent reason, which uh, there's probably something wrong with that, but like for a guy like me who war who summons wardens by complete acts by genuine complete accident every other day and who regularly has to go back home because he forgets to bring things on like tasks and stuff I'm, it's just it's just par for the course honestly actually i think one time i spaced out for like a really long time in the shower and i came back to myself and i was like whoa what the hell have i been doing for like the past week so i had to go back and like check and like kind of like go back through some of the footage I'd recorded to go like, oh yeah, that's what I was doing, and then get back to it, but it was crazy, man. <sighs> Thankfully, though, it's not too disruptive, just really annoying at times. I'm just gonna leave um, those to despawn and then uh, go and finish off the rest of this path. Because I think this should be enough to finish it, hopefully. And if not, well, um, these should drop 
some sort of bushes if I'm lucky. So actually I'm just probably just gonna break these by hand to get them to decay quicker and if it doesn't drop anything, which it didn't, that's okay. I have a couple more in reserve. Also, I haven't seen a bee anywhere near here for a hot minute now, I think. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's happened, but I think we might have, I think another one might have gotten lost because uh, I was out sailing earlier and I saw one just wandering over the ocean. I need to get more leads. I, mm. yeah, maybe I can get like a proper beehive going. Eventually I'll pick up this, uh, no. Campfire, that's the word. I can pick up this campfire and then just go out and collect the more whatever. Anyways, now I can, at least I can get that off my checklist. I may not have any idea what the fuck is going on at any given time. However, I feel like that's not really my problem until it decides to make itself my problem. So, until then, if I have memory issues, no I don't. Yes I do, no I don't. I got bigger fish to fry, man. I got a laundry room to construct. And let me tell you, nothing can get in the way of my laundry room, except for maybe the fact that I didn't do anything for like, a week and just kind of just laid in bed and did stuff and uh, uh, that I didn't exactly need to get done but that had been procrastinating for like 3,000 years. But like that actually didn't stop me because I I did the thing anyways look at look at me here I am I'm mining out the, in the extra space to make a laundry room. I'm literally unstoppable I'm perfect I'm a god and nothing is ever going to kill me ever again. I am so totally going to regret saying that later. Mm, okay, so the thing is, I would love to have um, two end rods to put right here so that I can make some sort of like hanging rack for my towels or something. Unfortunately, although I have the chorus plants for it, end rods to make um end rods you also have to have blaze rods which i don't i don't have any blaze rods they have all been turned into blaze powder and then i used them for something probably to make the um the uh eyes eyes of vendor yep that's the thing so Do I really want to go all the way to the nether fortress just so that I can get like a neat little aesthetic thing for my laundry room? Yes, I do actually. Let's go baby! I am not prepared whatsoever. I mean, I guess I am, but like... Bah. Eh. I keep forgetting that all of this, like the nether fortress stuff is just out in the open. So literally every single time that I want to like go out here and get blaze rods, I have to be like extra doubly careful to not get my ugh, shit wrecked by ghasts. Oh. That was easy. <laughs> this is what I get for having a power four bow, I guess. If I run into any wither skeletons, I will scream. It is extremely difficult to see things in the nether and I've also like... Genuinely like completely forgotten. Oh my god. Yep, these guys exist. Whoa there, buddy. Um, how about you try not 
doing that and killing me. Hmm? Can we not kill me? I am in a, I have a vested interest in not dying actually. Thank you. Love you all. Please die. Very nice of you to die. Thank you. I only got one magma cream from that. Ugh. Okay, um, if I can just remember where the actual hell this spawner is. Oh, is it, is it right there? I think it's like right there. Ow. Fuck. That is like the last thing that you'd want to happen. I hate being on fire. It's annoying. Okay, here we go. Um. However, with all of that progress made, I think that Sami just died in the background. I think that that marks the end of today's episode of Project Nexus. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you again for all of your patience. Don't like, don't subscribe if you, you're not interested. I'm not your mom. I can't force you to do anything. Good. Bye.